the project here I'm going to encrypt decrypt sign and verify the messages so uh, let's begin by encrypting this message hello Pratiksha what's up with you these days let me enter the message here are the values of n e and d since you are encrypting the message i'll be using the value of e and this is the list of integers obtained after encrypting the message so uh, let's take a look at the function that encrypts the messages uh, we are first uh, breaking down the entire message into uh, chunks of three bytes and then we are converting each chunk into its corresponding hexadecimal string and uh, once we have that uh, uh, hexadecimal string we convert it to integer and encrypt it using the square and multiply algorithm for uh, speed and efficiency once we obtain the encrypted message we convert it back to st uh, string and then concatenate it to the final result and after that we append a comma to the final result so that uh, we can obtain a comma separated uh, string of integers that can be posted on Moodle uh, now we'll be decrypting the same message uh, you can see that I have already uh, hard-coded this uh, encrypted message over here and we'll be decrypting it so running the program once again Uh, let's input the value of n and this time we'll be entering the value of d so as you can see the decrypted message is the same as the one which we use to encrypt it now let's move on to signing and verifying messages uh, the process of signing and verifying messages is very similar to encrypt and decrypting messages except for the fact that uh, will be using my private key to sign the message and my partner will use my public key to verify the signature so let's do that first I'll be signing the message so the message to be signed is my name that's Hindi Purohit the value of N and the value of e but here i'll be using the value of d because i'm signing a message not encrypting it so this is the list of integers that i obtained after signing my message uh, the list of integers is here so in order to verify this message let's uncomment this line and now i'll be verifying my uh, signature so let's input the value of n and instead of the value of D, I'll be using my public key to verify the signature. And yes, the verified message is Hindi Purohit. So the signed message has been successfully verified. And uh, if we take a look at the function that decrypts or verifies the messages, we can see that uh, uh, we are converting this first we are uh, decrypting the integers the list of integers that we had obtained earlier while encrypting the message and then we are converting it back to a human readable string so that's how this decryption function works